started off as the fort. It was the old fort. Bear in mind that the river used to run just up, just behind this building. And Plaza de Marcha was the site of the second foundation of Buenos Aires. The first one was in La Boca, but the people were attacked by the Aborigines. They abandoned the settlement after a year. So they came back another like 20 years later in 1580. And they settled here. They built a fort here. Um, and it ended up becoming the presidential palace. Uh, originally it was painted in that colour because they only had white paint they were going to paint it white. They did not have enough. So what they did is they mixed it with ox blood and they just painted it red. It was the 1600s, it was okay. And of course since then they haven't really used you know, ox blood, they just used the board as babies. No, they used paint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They just used paint and they repainted it quite recently and as you said, they light it up at night and it's a bit love hotel kind of techie but you know. The president herself doesn't live here, she lives further north at the Quinta de Olivos which is a massive estate. It's really quite nice and she lives there. There's a heliport just at the back. Yeah, I saw So that. she can, like if you wanted to, she can take the helicopter and go to the Olivos which is not very far. Um, she has taken her car and like you can see her sometimes. Because honestly, I'm surprised by how down to earth some, not all, but some Argentine political figures are. I remember once I went into Parliament, I went one of the, uh, I met the leader of the opposition, and she took the time to talk to us, and like she introduced herself. She was really cool about everything. She's this, she's really tall, and she's a really big woman, but she's really friendly, and she, she really knows her politics. So it's great. It was really exciting. But anyway, back to history. Um, so this was the site of the 2001 riots. Uh, as you know, in 2001, Argentina's economy collapsed much like Greece's. It's just that we had no one to back us up, so we were on our own. What had happened is that we, like we said before, we had supported free trade for a long time, and that destroyed our industry and our economy. So we had borrowed a lot of money and we couldn't pay it back. So what the banks did is they restricted uh, people's access to their own money, so you could only withdraw 300 pesos each week. Obviously people were not very happy about that, so they all came down here and protested. This was in December 2001, the 19th and the 20th of December. In total, 35 people died nationwide. Five people around this plaza here, and a lot of supermarkets and shops were looted, and it was just really chaotic. And over the following two weeks, we had five different presidents. So it was ridiculous, it was just chaos. The other one not, there was just the street we just saw that goes to the obelisco was completely covered in stones, like from the, um, what's it called, um, like when it was free? Yeah, the cobblestones, that's it. So people would pick them up and throw them at police officers. So the streets were just covered in them. The president at the time, Fernando de la Rua, resigned on December 20th and flew and fled in his helicopter, well, in the presidential helicopter. He didn't even want to go through the streets. Um, over the course of the following two months, the Argentine peso went from being worth slightly over a US dollar to 25 cents of a US dollar, which is pretty much where it's been for the last 10 years. Um, even though the prices have gone up a lot since then, back then everything was much cheaper, but then the peso was quite strong, which is why we had no tourism uh, and we would travel overseas. Now it's not the case. Um, but yeah, so you talk about other historic events here. This was the only plaza in the whole of Latin America to have been bombarded from the air. And remember how we spoke about the dictatorship that knocked Peron off power? Yeah. So the Air Force just flew in and dropped bombs. Our own Air Force on our own people. Hmm. They killed 373 people around the plaza. They did it at 3 p.m. So everyone would have been leaving the banks and their workplaces. They just started dropping bombs and opening fire. Simple as that. Um, and obviously Peron did resign. In fact, he escaped. There are lots of tunnels under this that were built back in the colonial days. So the word is that he ran away that way and he boarded a Paraguayan boat and he requested political asyl asylum in Paraguay. Did he get it? Yeah. So that's where he died in the end? Or? No, 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 no. Then he came back and he became president again. Oh, yeah, and nice. then he died. 